Turner Classic Movies continues to release some really terrific classic movie collections via their TCM Greatest Classic Film series. Now, the latest wave includes three completely different styles of movies in three separate DVD sets. The first one, and the one, of course, I'm most partial to, is... Turner Classic Movies' Greatest Classic Films, Sci-Fi Adventures, which includes Them, everyone's favorite giant ant movie from the 50s, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, a terrific Ray Harryhausen film based on a Ray Bradbury story, Without End, which features Rod Taylor and some other astronauts on the way to Mars accidentally landing on a post-apocalyptic Earth, and then finally, Satellite in the Sky, which is sort of the least well-known and probably my least favorite of the four movies included on this set. Next up, they have the Romance Collection, which includes Splendor in the Grass, Love in the Afternoon, Mogambo, and now Voyager. Now, Splendor in the Grass and Love in the Afternoon are kind of extremely well-known films. Splendor in the Grass featuring Natalie Wood and, of course, Warren Beatty in his first film. And then Love in the Afternoon features Audrey Hepburn and Gary Cooper in a film from director Billy Wilder. So these are both pretty well-known films. Mogambo, on the other hand, while you've probably heard of it, is not necessarily a particularly beloved film. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who like it. It's a quality movie. It has Clark Gable, Ava Gardner, and Grace Kelly, all terrific actors. And it's directed by John Ford, uh, but it's not necessarily a household name kind of film. And then finally, we have Now Voyager, which features Betty Davis in one of her signature roles, even though, again, it's not a film that is kind of a household name movie. It certainly holds a, an impressive place in kind of film history. Finally, we have the Marx Brothers collection, which is a nice collection if you're a fan of the Marx Brothers. It features A Day at the Races, A Night in Casablanca, Room Service, and At the Circus. Uh, a Day at the Races is clearly my favorite of the four, but overall they're all pretty enjoyable. I like the Marx Brothers movies. I can't say that I get the same kick out of them as I used to when I was younger, but I can certainly appreciate the quality of the films and kind of the, the different sort of approach to filmmaking that the Marx Brothers brought to comedy at the time. So all of them are excellent collections, but what's nice about these is that TCM doesn't just bring together four movies, slap them on a couple of discs and throw them into a package, but rather they include all of the extra features that were originally featured in, on the DVD releases of each of these films originally. So throughout these three sets, what you get are short featurettes, uh, archival features, animated short cartoons, newsreel footage, audio bits, any kind of uh, fun extras that were included in the original films, uh, audio commentaries, they're all still here included in the packages. So for the 20 bucks or so that these movies retail for, you get four movies in each set, and extra features. And for my money, you really can't beat that. So for any classic movie lovers out there, these TCM Greatest Classic Films collections are all highly recommended.